Well, new at 5.30, after more than 24 hours, fire crews are finally getting close to putting out a large industrial fire in Oslo Township. Fire broke out at Lamy Plast around 2 Sunday morning. Nearly a dozen area fire departments were called in to battle it. Fire crews are now the only, Oslo fire crews are now the only ones left and hope to have it out soon. They do, but while they are just beginning to search for what started that fire, neighbors are left to deal with the aftermath of being evacuated from their homes. WSBT's Ed Ernstis has the latest. Judy Lettner didn't have to go very far to witness efforts to douse the fire. She could see this from her back window. The fire right on her property line in her backyard. She was one of dozens of people asked to evacuate their homes when the fire erupted. They came Saturday night at like uh, 3 in the morning. The police officer knocking at the door telling us we had to evacuate real quick. We're all petrified. Now back home, Letner was worried early on that the family garage full of tools, her husband's truck parked next to the fence, as well as her home, might catch fire. Like I said, when I looked out the window and seen all the blazes, uh, we were scared. We were really worried. As it turned out, hers and other nearby homes were spared as fire crews spent considerable time protecting them. She says the runoff water from the fire has now seeped into her backyard as well as her garage and is now frozen and adds she would be curious to know whether there is anything harmful or toxic in that water. Yes, we are. County and state health officials will get a better handle on that once the fire is out, which will also enable the state fire marshal's office to begin its investigation. When the fire marshal left yesterday, he said let him know once we got it out and it gets cooled down so we can actually start getting in and doing some investigation because right now we're still putting it out. So this is, until the suppression is done, he can't get in there to do anything yet. Ed Ernstis, WSBT Channel 22 News. Firefighters have been pumping water on that fire from way up high on an aerial truck. Heavy equipment has been tearing apart what remains of the site in order to better reach those hot spots that are there.